Welcome to ClearCon. In this video, we are going to learn that how you can obtain the various VI characteristic of the NMOS or in case of PMOS, the similar operation you need to run. So let's start. First, start with the new schematic. Now we are going to simulate for the NMOS to so take component as an NMOS. So just type NMOS, select NMOS for for terminal NMOS, place over here. Now we require two voltage source, so play, press B on your keyboard. B voltage source, place one more voltage source over here. Now just connect these. Using wires, and finally provide ground. Get ground, press G on your keyboard, you will get ground. And uh, uh, as you know, uh, the body. Terminal of NMOS always remain to lowest potential, so the lowest potential is ground or ground. We have done with the schematic. Now we want to simulate for uh, any particular <coughs> technology node. So in our case, we are going to use 180 nanometer. So this link I have provided you in the descriptions of this video. Just go open this PTM file. Open this 180 nanometer PTM file. Just select all, control C, and go this dot op spice directive and just paste this code that directive. We have included the model file. Now just set the W by L. So in our case, uh, the technology file for 180 nanometer technology so length is 180 nanometer. And let's take width. Width is double width of the length. It's 360 nanometer. Okay. Now. We want to find out the VI characteristic of the NMOS and PMOS. So currently we are simulating for NMOS, but the same step you need to run for PMOS device also. The procedure remains same. Is one transfer characteristic. In that transfer characteristic, what we will do? We vary. Uh, we fix the VDS at some potential. We vary the VGS which is input voltage and get the waveform of ID versus another transfer. Now why it is transfer characteristic? Because the VGS is input. So how input is transferring into the current that is no transfer characteristic. Let's try to find out the case one. In case one VGS is fixed, VGS is very. So this is our VGS. So just rename this what is VGS. This is our VDS. Just rename this VDS. Uh, now we want to vary this particular source and we want to fix this voltage. Let's fix on a 2 volt and let's vary this particular source. Now this type of simulation known as a DC sweep. To perform DC sweep on VGS, just to go to the simulate tab, open edit simulation command, go to the DC sweep and just type here the source name, this capital V small g s. Select sweep type as a linear, start value 0, end value 2, Increment of 0 0.01. Let's 
the increment you can choose according to you just place this command over here now just press on this run button after pressing this run button you will get this window now we want that bgs versus id transfer characteristic is a bgs id versus bgs so we need to find out the current to find the current just zoom so this probe is known as a voltage probe and just move slide down and you will get this probe so this probe is the black probe is for current mill just press after getting this as you can see we are wearing our vgs so this terminal is vgs to so know just uh, right click on the this axis you will get the quantity plotted is vgs so we are wearing vgs and according to we are getting the transferred current at the output terminal this is the output terminal so that's how we are getting so why we are getting this type of characteristic so that for that you need to understand the working of the nmos how nmos actually works so uh, first we have provided zero zero volt and no current is flowing now as we are increasing vgs the current is increasing So that's how you can get ID versus VGS characteristics, which is known as a transfer characteristic. So we have done with the first simulation. Now let's move toward the second case, which is output characteristic. In that we do opposite thing. VDS is very and VGS is fixed. Let's do for that we need to do little bit changes. Just make this VGS as a fixed voltage. So let's make it 2 volt and just change this command. In case of VGS, you write VDS. Press OK. What we have done? We have fixed the VGS and vary the VDS. So just run. Now you can see the graph has changed. And this characteristic known as the output characteristic. So why this is output characteristic? Because all the things that we have taken is from the output side. There's no part from the input side because VDS is so this axis. We are wearing the VDS. If you right click, you will get the VDS. So we are wearing the VDS and measuring the output current. So both the quantity current and voltage both has the output side. So that's why it's an output characteristic. This current we are measuring this current IP current. So we are getting this type of graph. So this graph is output characteristic. So we have fixed the VGS means uh, suppose we are applying two voltage, then that means the MOSFET is in on condition so as vds will increase uh, after some time after some voltage we will reach to the saturation this part is known as a linear uh, part and after the pinch of voltage which is uh, vgs minus vth so suppose the vth is around uh, 0 0.3999 so VGS is 2 volt, so Z, uh, 2 minus 3.9 around uh, 1.6. So around 1.6 we are getting at the saturation. So this this voltage is after that we are the current is saturating. So exactly not saturating saturating the current because there are some type of uh, second order effect. So uh, I hope you got this how to get this type of plot. The agenda of this video to uh, to uh, uh, get the idea that how you can plot this graph. Now let's move toward the last uh, case in which both vary. VDS is also varying, VGS is also varying. So in that case, we get waveform of ID versus VDS for different VGS, right? 
So let's see how we can get this. In th that case, just to remove this voltage. Because now in this case, VDS, we want to vary both VDS as well as VGS. So what you need to do, just go to simulate, open edit simulate command. Now add second source and write here VGS. 0, 2, increment of, uh, oh, that's very 0 0.5. Let's take as a 0 0.4. We are also varying the VDS. Okay. Let's run this command. As you can see, we are getting. So this this is the VDS. So we are varying VDS. In this particular the graph are coming for different different beads. So, uh, first, this uh, blue line, this green line. Let me zoom. Better way. As you can see, this blue line. Maybe there is one more green line, but people write. Okay, so initially the VGS has zero volt. At that time, whatever the voltage you are getting, that is the condition of cutoff. So at that time, you are not getting any type of current, but there is still some current flowing. It is the leakage current. After that, uh, the voltage goes to zero point four volt. So you will get some type of uh, current at the at the fixed VGS of zero point four volt. Then you will get Go to the 0.8 volt. Uh, then 0 0.1.2 uh, volt, 1.6 volt, and finally 2 volt. So this is this yellow line is representing the graph for 2 volt. So this graph for the different VGS. Now uh, I can show. This is the graph. As you can see, uh, this is the VDS, this is the IDS, and uh, for different VGS, you are getting this uh, this type of graph. And we are varying in this condition VGS for step of 0 0.4. So I think uh, I hope you got how to plot these type of plots. For animals, now you can do for PMOS also. Uh, they remain same, but you will get some type of different graph for PMOS. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video, and that's all.